Good morning. I am Scooter. And I want to talk to you about something that I can't even pronounce this morning. It's called Ikigay. I-K-I-G-A. And I was scrolling through my Facebook timeline and somebody had this posted. Ikigay. I K I G A I. And I want everyone to go on Google and look it up because I really feel like it's just the perfect thing. So you have a little graph, and at the center of the graph is icky gay. And at the top is what you love, then it's your mission, what the world needs, your vocation what you can pay for, your profession, what you are good at, your passion, and at the very top, what you love. And in the center is icky gay. What is icky gay? It is your purpose, your sense of being, who you are. Um, I heard a real interesting talk about who am I? Who am I? You have to really ask yourself, who am I? Well, the reality is you're you're all these things and a bit more. And the reason I find that all of this is so important is right now is because guess what time of the year it is? Well, it's almost New Year's. And many of you are going to start to make resolutions and you're going to think about your life. And I really hope that you'll go and Google this and f- and figure out some of these things for yourself. What is your mission in life? How do you fit with the rest of the world? And what is your vocation as opposed to what is your profession? What you're good at. We talked about that the other day, your superpowers. What you're good at. Are you good at food? I'm good at food. And one of the things that I would love to do is write little itty bitty um, reviews of food for people. What's your passion? What do you love? What? That's what the other thing I talked about. What gives you oxygen? What is it that's deep inside of you that just elevate your soul to that place, that feeling of almost elation. What do you love? Do you love art? Do you love music? Do you love the ballet? I love the ballet. Oh, yeah, a girl loves the ballet. And um, what you love, you know? Do you love to go to the movies? I love to go to the movies. Do you love children? You know, are you, would you be a grade school teacher? What's your mission? What is the purpose, the mission that the creator, the universe, your own mind says your mission should be in life? Is it to climb Pikes Peak? Is it to go to outer space? If you had a million dollars, would you pay for that first trip to outer space? What is your mission? And and then think about it. What is it that we need in the world right now? What things, when you look out and you see your neighborhood, what is one thing that would improve your neighborhood? People always laugh at me because wherever I live, I'm always picking up trash. Yes, I'm the garbage man. Because I hate to see trash blowing around and the, everything looks so much better when it's just cleaner. And you know when I got this um, vision of cleanliness was so wonderful, I took my children, who are now grown, so this is a lot of years ago, to Disney World. And we stayed in the part of the, it was the new, at the time it was the newest part of, of Disney World. And the one thing that constantly impressed me every day was how clean it was. So 
cleanliness, you know how they say cleanliness is next to godliness, but that, that your environment should be well structured and clean and organized. I talked to you about getting rid of those pieces of paper, getting rid of that mail. I, I went through a period where I had stacks of mail every place I went. It's just stacks, stacks here, stacks there. And um, now I don't have stacks of mail. No, I don't. And I love the feng, feng shui attitude about just pick one drawer in your house and clean it out. And don't go to the next drawer till that drawer is 100% cleaned out. And that you've gotten rid of all the excess little receipts and all those kind of things. But all of these things tie together. And as you see, I'm on a theme because we're headed towards New Year's. And we're headed toward resolutions. So this is Scooter saying, Ikigay. I-K-I-G-A-I. Look it up. Let me know what you think. Icky gay. Bye. Have a nice day.